I've been using this window screen material as my ground network for the vertical antenna for six months now. But my viewers say there's something better out there. I want you to meet the new Magic Carpet. About six months ago, Dave KZ9V and I demonstrated how a simple piece of aluminum window screen like this can be used as an effective uh, ground network for a vertical antenna. Uh, the screen offers similar performance to conventional uh, ground mounted uh, wire radios, but it has the advantage of being easier to deploy and taking up less real estate than a wire network does. Suffice it to say, this concept has really taken off in the amateur radio portable operations field and uh, countless hams have used this window screen material and it's working for them to great effect. Now the downside of the window screen of course is that you know it can be hard to roll out, it's a bit stiff and uh, when, it's ro when it's rolled up it takes you know a, a fair amount of space in the in the back of your vehicle. Uh, wouldn't it be great if there was a material that was flexible, lightweight, and folds up into a tiny package? Well, I love it when someone takes an idea and finds a way to make it better. And recently, I've started seeing many hams that are into the portable operations world using a new material as their ground network. This material is lightweight, folds up into a small package, and offers equivalent performance as the window screen. This magical material is known as Faraday cloth. What is Faraday cloth? Well, Faraday cloth, also known as Faraday fabric or um, EMP fabric, is a conductive metal fabric with strands of copper, uh, silver, and nickel uh, woven into it. Uh, the purpose of this material is to block electro, electrical charges and um, EMF or electromagnetic uh, uh, radio frequency radiation. It works on the principle of a Faraday cage. I'm not going to really question the effectiveness of this cloth against EMP because that's really not the topic of this video. But one thing this cloth is good at is being a conductor. If, I'm gonna, if I take my uh, multimeter here and I run the probes across the cloth, you will hear that it is a conductor. Uh, there's continuity here and also it, prevents, it presents a minimal amount of impedance across it. That means you can use this in the same manner as a window screen uh, for your ground network and your vertical antennas. So to verify that, I spread out the cloth, set up my antenna base on it, and deployed my vertical antenna. Let's check the SWR impedance and resonance uh, for the 15, 20, and 40 meter bands. I've got my um, quarter wave vertical HF antenna set up just in the front of the house here to do some measurements, some testing to see uh, what the Faraday cloth is going to give us. Um, just to describe the antenna here, it's um, that's a 213 inch collapsible whip. I've got it right now adjusted so that it's uh, quarter wave resonant on the 15 meter band. Uh, at the base there is the Wolf River Sporty 40 coil. That We'll use that um, when we have the antenna on 40 meters. I got a little bypass wire in there. So it's, it's, um, we're deleting the coil at this moment. A uh, heavy steel base and then the uh, Faraday cloth underneath it. So what I'm going to do is, um, and then fed with uh, 50 feet of RG8X cable. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, we're just going to uh, check uh, SWR and a couple other numbers. Now SWR, standing wave ratio, is not the indicator of a good antenna. Any antenna can have a one-to-one -one SWR if you try hard enough. Uh, but it is one of the indicators of a good, a well-performing antenna. And we're going to look at that in a few other numbers. So um, just pop up the meter here. 
and this is telling me right now I've got an SWR of 1.09 to 1, almost a perfect match. But more importantly, my R, or resistance number, is about 53 ohms, which means my X, which is my reactance, is uh, around 2 ohms. And that's very important, because if we can get X, or reactance, uh, down to zero, then we have a purely resistive load, and almost all of your RF energy is going to be uh, transmitted by the antenna, or released by the antenna. So that, that's the important number to look at, is, is how your impedance and how your X factor is, are, are working with this entire antenna. If I look at the bandwidth on the 15 meter band, um, it's 1.2 to 1 or less across the entire band. So we get a lot of bandwidth there, uh, which, is, which is really great to hear. You can tune on one frequency and you can move around and not having to uh, readjust uh, things. So um, we're going to check it on 20 meters and then finally 40 meters. At 20 meters, the numbers are a little bit different. I got it down to 1.13 to 1 at 14.200, uh, which is about the middle of the 20 meter band. Uh, resistance 56 ohms and a reactance about a minus 1.3. So still, um, now SWR is a little bit higher, but reactance is right there on the uh, right down there, close to zero, which is what I really like to see. Um, the one thing to consider is that um, when you're uh, using this this style of antenna with this style of um, a ground uh, network is that ground conductivity can make a difference. Um, if, you, if you're in an area with excellent ground conductivity, uh, wet sandy soil, things like that, um, you're going to get a different reading than if you are in hard rocky uh, soils. So just be aware of that, that the physical makeup of the soil underneath the ground network can make a difference to the uh, ultimate numbers you're going to receive with the um, uh, when, when you're adjusting the antenna. And finally, we're going to take a look at the 40 meter band. I'm using the Wolf Rivers uh, Sporty 40 coil and uh, the 213 inch whip uh, fully extended uh, for the 40 meter band. And in my location, like I said, ground conduct conductivity can play a little bit of a difference. I'm getting an SWR of about 1.15 to 1 at around 7200 um, uh, 7, kilohertz. Uh, at the bottom of the band at 7,000 kilohertz, I'm at about 1.5 to 1. At the top of the band, I'm at about 1.4 to 1. Uh, still perfectly adequate uh, to be able to use in within the um, uh, 40 meter band uh, without having to reach for the tuner or anything like that. Uh, taking a look at the other numbers for uh, resistance. Now my resistance has dropped a little bit. We're down to about 43 ohms and my reactance is, has uh, thereby increased a little bit. We're up to about uh, six ohms, a uh, minus six ohms. So, and I've noticed this as we get down into lower frequencies that um, unless you've got more material <laughs> uh, uh, spread out there, you're gonna, you're gonna see um, it's gonna be a little bit, it gets, it gets to be a little bit harder and harder to make that match on, on the lower bands. But with one sheet of the Faraday material, it seems to be working really well. Now these tests are all good and well, but the big question is, is how will this perform in the field? So let's pack everything up. We're gonna go on a road trip and we're gonna head out to my favorite local Poda Park. We're out here at Rib Mountain State Park, and uh, the purpose of today is to put the new magic carpet to the test. Uh, it's a beautiful fall day, a little bit on the breezy side, but I'm going to find out if the Faraday cloth is a worthy uh, contender to the window screen ground plane. Will this work as well? Will it work better? Uh, will it work worse? I don't know. I'm, I'm expecting it's going to work the same. Uh, <laughs> since it's, it's, a, um, it's a similar concept between the window screen and the Faraday cloth. So uh, let's put this park on the air. Uh, let's put this Faraday cloth uh, to the test and uh, see what happens.
CQ CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, KB9 VBR, Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. November 1, November Uniform Golf. November 1, November Uniform Golf, 55 five, Wisconsin, Park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. Uh, QSL, hey, thanks for the activation. You are 57 here in Connecticut today. All right, well, thanks for the Connecticut. Uh, you have a great day and 73. Okay, 73, uh, good luck and have fun out there. N1 and UG. Roger that. You take it easy too. Uh, have a great day. KB9 VBR parks on the air QRZ. Uh, Kilo Golf 2, Mike Mike. Kilo Golf 2, Mike Mike. Nice 5 7 into Wisconsin. Park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Michael. You're a 5 and 5. 55. Some great sound and signal down here into Northeast Florida. Thanks for the park, 73. And uh, are you using the Wolf River with the magic carpet? I am using the, um, yeah, I'm using the vertical antenna. I got the magic carpet. Today we're running the Faraday cloth. We're going to see if the Faraday cloth works any, any differently than uh, window screen. Okay, well, it's uh, making a good trip down here into southeast, uh, into northeast Florida. So uh, it's working. But uh, you have a great day. I'll respot you and uh, hopefully catch you on another band and we can do a test there. All right, hey, that sounds great. I'll probably run on 15 meters for another 10 minutes and I'll switch down to 20, so hopefully we can get you down on 20. Roger, roger. You take care, my friend. 73 from Kilo Golf 2, Mike, Mike, the other Mike. <laughs> you take it easy, too, at 73. KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. 5, Mike, Yankee, Yankee, Charlie. Kilo Echo 5, Yankee, Yankee, Charlie. Whiskey 2, Tango, Mike, Oscar. Hey, the Park to Park Station. Roger, Roger. This is November 6 Hotel Uniform. November 6 Hotel Uniform. Uh, my park kilo four five forty two. Kilo four five forty two. Charlie Alpha QSL. All right, November 6 Hotel Uniform. Thank you so much for the kilo four five four two in California. Uh, you're a beautiful five five here in the Wisconsin park number kilo one four seven three. Back to you. Copy that. Thank you, 55 five Wisconsin. Uh, beautiful day here, and uh, I got your park 1473. And thank you for uh, coming back and uh, happy, uh, have a good activation. Thank you. You're also 55 five, uh, both ways. Over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. Uh, sunny skies, almost 80 degrees, uh, but the wind is bro it's breezy out here, so the leaves are blowing like crazy. But um, you have a great activation today. Thanks for the contact. All right, thank you. I've been watching your YouTube a lot, so I, when I hear the call sign, oh, there it is, so I've been able to uh, uh, work with you for the first time on, uh, on uh, 15 meters, so good luck. Thank you again. Roger, Roger. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's my pleasure. Always great to get you in the log, so you have a great day, 7-3. 7-3. Seven, this is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Alpha, Alpha 4, Tango X-Ray. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Yeah. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Uh, good afternoon, 57 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. Talk to yourself. thanks for another band. You're 5-9 uh, here in Connecticut. Uh, appreciate the uh, contact today. All right, well, thanks again for the Connecticut and thanks for the second band. You actually, I think you sounded a little better on 15 than you did on 20, but um, still, good to get you in the log twice. Yeah, likewise. 20 is too easy for me here today, so uh, a little hard to pull signals out, but you're coming over it. Hey, uh, enjoy it out there today. N1, N1, step 3. Will do, will do. Thanks again. You have a great day, 7 3. KB9 VBR, parks on the air, QRZ. Alpha Charlie 1, Alpha India. The Kilo Yankee 4 Echo Station? Yes, sir. Kilo Yankee 4 Echo, you're 5'9 South Carolina. All right, thanks for the South Carolina. You're also 5'9 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. Got it. Appreciate it, Michael. 
Hey, it's my pleasure. Uh, you have a great day, 7-3. Was there a QRP station out there? Kilo Echo 9 Tango Tango Portable 4 QRP. Kilo Echo 9 Tango Tango Portable 4. Gotcha. 5-3 Wisconsin. Park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. All right, well, thanks for the Virginia Beach, Virginia, uh, and the vertical. We're also running a vertical here. I'm in, I'm in Wausau, Rib Mountain State Park, uh, overlooking the beautiful town of Wausau, so I know where Kiwani is. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. Thanks a lot. Have a great time. You too. Take it easy. KB9VB, our Parks on the Air, QRZ. Victor Echo 1, Bravo, Quebec, Charlie, 59, Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. Roger, roger on the 59. Thanks, Thanks. Uh, Return to 59, 59 is all here. All right, well, thanks a lot for the New Brunswick second band today. So um, you have a great day in 7-3. 7-3, have fun. This is KB9VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo November 1, Whiskey Delta Sierra. Victor Echo 3, Sierra Romeo Whiskey. Uh, Delta Victor X-Ray. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Sierra Romeo Whiskey, 57 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. Uh, thanks a lot there, Mike, and uh, you got a great signal here coming into Peterborough, Ontario at 5 and 6, 5, 6, over. All right, well, thanks for the Ontario. Uh, you have a great day in 7-3. 7-3, buddy. Uh, was there a station ending in X-Ray out there? Kilo India 5, Delta Victor X-ray. Kilo India 5, Delta Victor X-ray. Nice signal, 57 Wisconsin. Park number Kilo 1473. Back to you. QSL, I got you 55, 55, Oklahoma. All right, well, thanks a lot for the Oklahoma. You have a great day in 7-3. 73. Come on, I need one more. CQ, CQ, Parks on the Air, CQ, Parks on the Air, KB9, VBR, Kilo, Bravo, Niner, Victor, Bravo, Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. November 5, Romeo Echo Whiskey. Well, I would say that the Faraday cloth is a rousing success. It definitely has all the benefits of the window screen, uh, with the addition of it being lightweight, and um, compact, very easy to fold. Um, I guess if there was only a, if there was any bad thing about it is maybe it's a little too um, lightweight. You know, if it was a, nice thing about the screen is you could lay it out there and it stayed put in the wind. Uh, this stuff, not so much. Had to put some weights on there. Oh, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, we're gonna stick some grommets on these holes here, or the grommet holes on the end of the cloth, and I think that'll make a big difference. We can stake it down with a couple of tent stakes, a couple of garden stakes, but um, look at this. Look at how compact this folds up. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And it works every bit as good as um, bright aluminum window screen. You know, a little, maybe a little bit more expensive, but um, packs down a third the size. I can put this right into my antenna box, and that's one less thing to rummage around in the, in the back of my car. So um, thanks a lot everybody online that uh, suggested that I try out the Faraday cloth. You were right. Uh, this is the stuff to use. <laughs> um, this is going to go into my kit for sure. So um, this is the new magic carpet and the old magic carpet is gone. So um, thanks a lot everybody for watching. Uh, Michael, KB9VBR, you have a great day in 7-3.